We are Victorious Kids. Welcome. Peace. We are victorious kids.
Ten years after Abram and Sarai arrived in Canaan, they still did not have a child. So Abram's wife, Sarai, said to him, Since God has not allowed me to have children, and now I am too old to have children, here is my servant, Hagar. Marry her also, so she can have a child for me. So Abram married Hagar. Hagar had a baby boy, and Abram named him Ishmael. But Sarai became jealous of Hagar. When Ishmael was 13 years old, God again spoke to Abram. God said, I am God Almighty. I will make a covenant with you. Then Abram bowed to the ground. God also told Abram, You will be the father of many nations. I will give you and your descendants the land of Canaan as their possession, and I will be their God forever. You must circumcise every male in your family. Your wife Sarai will have a son. He will be the son of promise. Name him Isaac. I will make my covenant with him, and he will become a great nation. I will make Ishmael a great nation too, but my covenant will be with Isaac. Then God changed Abram's name to Abraham, which means father of many. God also changed Sarai's name to Sarah, which means princess. That day, Abraham circumcised all the males in his household. About a year later, when Abraham was a hundred years old and Sarah was ninety, Sarah gave birth to Abraham's son. They named him Isaac, as God had told them to do. When Isaac was a young man, God tested Abraham's faith by saying, Take Isaac, your only son, and kill him as a sacrifice to me. Again Abraham obeyed God and prepared to sacrifice his son. As Abraham and Isaac walked to the place of sacrifice, Isaac asked, Father, we have wood for the sacrifice, but where is the lamb? Abraham replied, God will provide the lamb for the sacrifice, my son. When they reached the place of sacrifice, Abraham tied up his son Isaac and laid him on an altar. He was about to kill his son when God said, Stop! Do not hurt the boy! Now I know that you fear me, because you did not keep your only son from me. Nearby, Abraham saw a ram that was stuck in a bush. God had provided the ram to be the sacrifice instead of Isaac. Abraham happily offered the ram as a sacrifice. Then God said to Abraham, Because you were willing to give me everything, even your only son, I promise to bless you. Your descendants will be more than the stars in the sky. Because you have obeyed me, I will bless all the families of the world through your family. Deuteronomy 5, verse 16. Honor your father and mother, as the Lord your God has commanded you, that your days may be long, and that it may be well with you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. One day, Jesus was teaching many people who had gathered to hear him. These people were tax collectors and also other people who did not try to obey the law of Moses. Some religious leaders saw Jesus talking to these people as friends. So they began to tell each other that he was doing wrong. Jesus heard them talk, so he told them this story. There was a man who had two sons. The younger son told his father, Father, I want my inheritance now. So the father divided his property between his two sons. Soon, the younger son gathered all that he had and went far away and wasted his money in sinful living. After that, a severe famine happened in the land where the younger son was, and he had no money to buy food. So he took the only job he could find, feeding pigs. He was so miserable and hungry that he wanted to eat the pig's food. Finally, the younger son said to himself, What am I doing? All my father's servants have plenty to eat, and yet here I am starving. I will go back to my father and ask to be one of his servants. 
So the younger son started back towards his father's home. When he was still far away, his father saw him and felt compassion for him. He ran to his son and hugged him and kissed him. The son said, Father, I have sinned against God and against you. I am not worthy to be your son. But his father told one of his servants, Go quickly and bring the best clothes and put them on my son. Put a ring on his finger and put sandals on his feet. Then kill the best calf so we can have a feast and celebrate. Because my son was dead, but now he is alive. He was lost, but now we have found him. So the people began to celebrate. Before long, the older son came home from working in the field. He heard the music and dancing and wondered what was happening. When the older son found out that they were celebrating because his brother had come home, he was very angry and would not go into the house. His father came out and begged him to come and celebrate with them, but he refused. The older son said to his father, All these years I have worked faithfully for you. I never disobeyed you, and still you did not give me even one small goat so I could celebrate with my friends. But this son of yours has wasted your money doing sinful things. When he came, for him you killed the best calf to celebrate. The father answered, My son, you are always with me, and everything I have is yours. But it is right for us to celebrate, because your brother was dead, but now is alive. He was lost, but now we have found him. Thank you.